killer clowns from outer space. What can I say about this movie? This movie is one of my guilty pleasures. I can watch this over and over and still have a great time. It's campy, it's cheesy, and it's well aware of it. This movie came out in 1988, and since then, it's gathered quite a cult following. It honors all the science fiction movies from the 50s. A lot of those movies even had From Outer Space in the title. Always had some kind of alien species coming to Earth. And since it came out, Killer Clowns has had multiple video releases. It's been on VHS, it's been on DVD, and it's available on Blu-ray, which you can get for less than $10 in most places. This movie has spawned action figures and even Halloween costumes. And the plot for this movie is paper thin and entertaining as hell. Right off the bat, you meet the main characters that you're going to spend about an hour and a half with. You have the Terenzi brothers, who are the comic relief of the movie. They're the two idiots that run a failing ice cream truck business and who constantly argue with each other. And then you've got the two main characters, Mike and Debbie, and these names are generic as hell. You can pull these out of a Goosebumps book. So Mike and Debbie see what looks like a shooting star crash into the woods. And of course, instead of calling the police, like any horror movie teenage couple, they go investigate. And what do you know? It's a circus in the woods. And once they go inside, they realize the obvious. This is no fun house. No circus either. Oh, and let me tell you, the acting in this movie is outstandingly cheesy. I've never seen anything like this before. Have you? No. Well, that's because nobody has. Well, they continue being nosy on the ship and... My God! Yep, those are people in cotton candy cocoons. So, of course, this scares the hell out of them and they run away. Now, you might want to know why these clowns are here to begin with. They want to take over the world and consume everyone, of course. And you might wonder, how can clowns do that? You know, we've got the military, we've got police protecting us. Well, they have an arsenal of their own. <laughs> You've got popcorn guns that shoot. Popcorn. My favorite part is the explanation behind this. Popcorn, why? Popcorn! Because the clowns, that's why! They also have balloon animals that come to life and can track people. And guns that turn people into cotton candy. I don't know why, but <laughs> when I was a kid, this weapon scared the hell out of me. Can you imagine opening the door, seeing these faces right here, then getting shot with a pink laser, and then you're stuck inside cotton candy? It doesn't get much more terrifying than that, folks. And how do they transport all these cotton candy cocoons back to their spaceship? Using a giant vacuum cleaner. Excellent. They take the cotton candy back to the ship, stick a straw in there, and drink away. And this is horrifying. Not only do you get stuck inside a cotton candy cocoon, you also get a straw shoved in you. And then they drink from you. Like fruit punch. Not only do they have cotton candy guns, they also have guns that trap people in balloons. They also have super strength and boxing skills. Skills that would give Little Mac from Punch-Out a run for his money. My block off. <laughs> Oh, shit! <laughs> that is one of the most ridiculous things I have ever seen. They also ride invisible motorcycles that they can run people off the road with. Special popcorn that seems to be alive because it crawls on the floor. They can plant it anywhere, too. And you might be wondering what happens to that popcorn. That. That is what happens to that popcorn. Aside from popcorn monsters, they can also use their hands to create shadows and entertain old folks, making ridiculous things like elephants out of their hands. And the shadows can eat people. Holy shit! It. And how can a clown be complete without pies? And what kind of pies are these? Uh, probably acid, because this guy did not have a good evening. Anyways, so Mike and Debbie end up at the police station, and this is where we get our first introduction of my favorite character in the movie, Sergeant Mooney. And he's hilarious. He is a complete asshole for no reason throughout the entire movie. Son of a bitch. We were just walking through the park on the way to the dorm. 
We just had a little wine. What's the problem? You're the problem, you little shit. Just scum like you that are killing this stuff. You got a thing for these little boys? <laughs> Screw you and your college flunkies. I know you, you little fart. Stupid kids with the pranks. I'd shoot them all. They took your wife away in a balloon? Well, you don't need a police pal. You need a psychiatrist. You're going to believe me or this little tramp. Just get over here. Fuck you. He does not believe any of this clown nonsense. He doesn't believe anything that's going on. He thinks everyone's playing a trick out to get him. After the entire town's in chaos, you, you have to stop and ask yourself, damn, maybe there is something going on. But no, he continues to not believe anything that's going on, to the point where he stops answering 911 calls completely. He just stops answering the phone. Even when he comes face to face with one of these things, he still think it's someone in a costume playing a prank. He handcuffs him. After he handcuffs the clown, his hands come off. Look at that. That's terrifying. And like the asshole he's used to being, he whacks him in the head. And at that point, I'm pretty sure he started believing it. But by then, it's too late. Oh my god, that's actually really scary. Well, he got what he deserved. Oh, and here's a tip. If there is an actual alien clown attack in your town, what do you do with your girlfriend? Well, you leave her alone at home, of course. Defenseless. As a cop, he blows my mind on so many levels. You've got a giant alien clown coming at you, and he's shooting him several times. You'd think he would shoot him right in the face. He is close enough to where missing would be impossible, yet he keeps putting bullets in his body until he finally realizes, hey, maybe I'd better shoot him in the head. He does that, hits his nose, and what do you know? That's their weak spot. They spin around, and they explode. So now the logical thing would be to go around shooting all the clowns in the nose. So Mike meets the Terenzi brothers, teams up with them, runs back into Dave the cop, and they all head together happily to the carnival, where the alien spaceship now resides. They all go inside, rescue Debbie, get surrounded by clowns, and if you have a phobia of clowns, this is probably the worst thing that can ever, ever happen to you in your life. There is a giant Godzilla clown, who I guess is the king, or some kind of pet. I don't know. It's never explained. It's huge, it's ridiculous, and it's awesome. So he starts bashing the ice cream truck, and boom, it explodes with the idiot Terenzi brothers inside. Too bad. The ship starts getting ready to take off. Mike and Debbie run away, leaving Dave the cop. And either this is the worst cop in history, or this police department just has no firearms training whatsoever. He fires away at this giant clown with a giant red nose. But for some reason, he just can't hit it. He misses so much, he runs out of bullets. Oh, but at least he can think outside the box. He takes that badge, pops the nose, and destroys the final boss. And anyone that knows what happens in a video game when you destroy the final boss, they explode, and wherever you just fought them also explodes. And I... <laughs> And I absolutely love this cop's face. She looks so bewildered by what she's saying. Her face is so epic that they show it twice. This is not me editing. This shot is actually in there twice. Somehow, between the time that Dave the cop killed the giant monster clown, he somehow got in the clown car and landed safely back on the ground with the Terenzi brothers, who apparently are immortals. So they've defeated the clowns, they defeated the king clown, and what else is left to do? Well, you gotta have a cliffhanger ending. This movie is a cult classic for a reason. It's not a movie that was made to be taken serious. Turn it on, pop some popcorn, sit back, and enjoy what it is. And this right here, this is real. They are making a sequel. It's got no release date and no real details yet, but yeah, it's coming. After almost 30 years, we're getting a sequel to this movie in 3D. I am gonna be sitting in that theater watching it. And you should too. You might just have a good time.
And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that uh, movie review. That is the first one on this channel. I'm going to bring you a movie review at least once a week. So stay tuned for more. And if you like that video, make sure you like, you subscribe, leave a comment down below, too. And make sure you click one of my other videos. You might find something else you enjoy. Anyways, guys, this is Fabian from GamerThumb TV. I'll see you next time.